Hey guys and welcome to another video for Tina and DIY. Sorry about my whole appearance today. It is not exactly the greatest day here in Taranaki and I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna wear any makeup on 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 film. And um, I was literally just woken up as well, so yes, that explains the stage that I'm in. Anyway, today's video is a little bit different and I kind of just made it up. I th well, I think I've made it up. Um, it's something that I just thought of like last night. I was like, oh, I might do that like for a video. So I've actually got the questions like, which is all written down. It is pretty much called the faves tag of Taranaki. So if you do not know, me and Hananui live in Taranaki. Um, and if you do not know where Taranaki is, well, we have you been. Seriously, it's like the best province ever. Nah, we've got a huge monia outside of our, our whare. And um, pretty much wherever you live, you'll be able to see our mountain which is really really cool so it's, we're all surrounded by the Monga and if you live in New Plymouth then we have the best of both because we've got the mountain and the surf well that's what we like to say the mountain and the surf so anyway I've, I've collated a few questions that I thought that I would share with you guys and um, yeah we'll just get into the first question so the first one is a fave scenic spot in Taranaki my favourite scenic spot would have to be definitely Dawson Falls. It's beautiful falls um, up the mountain and it's not too far away from my house, or well, my house, my parents' house where I used to live in Kaponga, about 10 minutes away and it's just a beautiful um, quick walk and it's just, I love it, it's awesome, it's so good and we used to go there as kids for school. Another one is um, quite close to home as well, it's Holland Gardens, I love going there, it's so beautiful. Um, you know, it's just all the gardens, it's been maintained really well. And that is based like two minutes out of Kaponga, so definitely go check that place out. Um, the next one would have to be Opanaki Beach. I used to go to Opanaki High School and in our lunch time, we sometimes used to sneak down to the beach. And it was always really cool going down there and it's just a cool vibe down there. There's a lot of surfers and stuff like that, so yeah, it's really cool there. And also here in New Plymouth, I absolutely love going to the Whatever Bridge, which is this beautiful bridge, which I will actually insert a few photos, hopefully, throughout this video. And also, I thought I'd mention the Stratford Mountain House as well, purely because the scenic views at the Stratford Mountain House are amazing. Um, they're really close, they're really awesome if you've got a great camera, they're just beautiful. So that's what I love. The next question is a fave restaurant in Taranaki. Mm. Now this one's quite hard because there is quite a few that I, I do love but I always, well me and Avi always find ourselves going to some similar ones whenever we go out for dinner. Um, so my fave restaurants definitely in Taranaki, Indian restaurants, I love Punkwala, me and Avi used to go there like all the time. Um, not so much anymore that we go out for dinner so yeah but definitely Punkwala. Another one that I really like going with my family back home is the South Taranaki Workmen's Club. <laughs> I know that might sound a little bit funny but their meals are so cheap and just so good and you always just get a bargain there. I mean they have cheap drinks, cheap food and it's awesome. I don't know if you have to be a member but my dad's a member so that's why we always go there and we, we've had so many family like dinners there it's not funny like big family occasions where we like book out like keeps the tables and stuff it's really good and then they've also got like games to play and stuff like that it's a great way to socialize with people you haven't seen in a while another one that I love down in Hawada is Old Mix um, Bar and Bistro that's what it's called I used to go there all the time with my friend when I lived down in Hawada and they just used to have really good food and pretty good, good prices as well and I just really loved those restaurants um, I mean, I like other restaurants up here in, in New Plymouth, like Aborio, I absolutely love as well. Um, but there's not a huge selection of restaurants that I absolutely love. Leading into restaurants, we go into cafes. So a fave place to get, you know, your co a coffee from or fave cafe. So I absolutely love Elixir. I love their coffees there. Um, I also like in Hawara, Marakabo. Love their coffees down there as well. They have really good flavoured coffees. Um, also, I love Lush in Centre City and out the coast, I love Sugar Juice. They make the best, the best, the best like apple and blueberry slice. I can't remember if they've still got it. Was it apple, blueberry, or something? 
blueberry. Oh, it was just amazing. Served with a bit of yogurt. So bloody good. Um, so yeah, and also I like a Boreo once again for coffee. So yeah. Fave beach in Taranaki. Uh, definitely Upanaki. I love going out there. And like it's really nice when you go for a swim and you can kind of see the bottom of the water, like the ocean, like the floor, the ground, the sand. <laughs> I hate swimming in the ocean and um, I won't go too far, I have to feel really comfortable and if I feel seaweed I'm like instantly out of there. But at Upanaki it's just flat sand, it's just, uh, I love it out there. Another beach that I really really love is Namotu here in New Plymouth and also Kopokanui as well back down in Manaya. The next question is, fave activity to do in Taranaki? Wow, there's, there's so much to do here, but I absolutely love going up the mountain whenever I can. Also in the winter time, it's awesome going up there as well, because there's usually snow. Um, walks along the foreshore are really good as well. It's just, you know, it's just not far. That's the great thing about it. It's like five minutes away from my house. Like, I could easily walk there, but then I'd be like, oh, I don't know. Um, so, you know, sometimes I have a so I was a little bit lazy and I'll just drive down there. But anyway, it's so nice along there, especially in the summertime. Um, and it's just awesome. Um, also, like I said, going to Dawson Fords or going to the coast for a drive, Coast 45. It's really cool going around the coast, just seeing the scenic views of, 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 out there. There is all sorts of cool things we have here in, in Taranaki that you just have to get out and do. Strawberry picking is cool in the summertime. That's like maybe 15, 20 minutes away from where I live. Um, also, um, you know, there's a lot of art galleries here. Pokiariki is like awesome, and then right next door is Aporia. Always gotta like make sure there's a coffee place nearby. Also, going to the lights here in the summertime is really cool. The um, Festival of the Lights, they really did a great job this year. Festival of the Lights. Also, I'm just reading a few other different stuff here because I feel like I'm gonna miss out stuff, and heaps of Taranaki people are gonna be like, yeah. You really do suck at like telling people about our place. There's a lot of cool like hiking and stuff to do here um, and like I said there's a whole abundance of awesome cafes and food places and um, great places to stay as well. Favourite pools in Taranaki. So when I was growing up there used to be all these like small towns with heaps of pools at them like so you know Kaponga had pools, Manaya had pools, Upanaki had pool, like Patea, Waverley, they all had their own pools and most of the time they were free to get in um, which was cool but I believe that like the council wants to close all these small pools up which kind of sucks especially for people who live obviously central um, Taranaki there's no like beaches around to go to instead so yeah they want to do that and I just remember growing up going to the pools every day and so I'm definitely going to put that on my list. Carponga pools is definitely like the best pools to go to. They've got three pools and it might be a little bit cold some days but if you're really hot you can just jump in and it's awesome and you can take down a picnic and you can take down your whole family because there's like so much room and one year they got in this awesome big blow up slide and it was just so cool and there was just so many people down the, down at the pools. Awesome place to go, awesome place to go. Um, the other one that I loved, oh also did I mention that one was free. And then the next pools I love is Manai pools because I've got the slide as well. And their deep end's actually a deep end. You know when you go to pools and they say oh yeah there's a deep end, it's like literally not deep. With their deep end you can't even touch the ground so it's legit a deep end. Um, yeah, I love going to the Manaya Pools. And also one here in New Plymouth I used to go to with my cousin was the Vogel Town Primary School Pools. I believe it was the senior school that had the pool. And um, the thing that I loved about that is they always got a key so you could like go in. And um, it was always really clean. So <laughs> that's what I loved about that. Fave dairy in Taranaki. Well, I used to work in a dairy, so I'm not going to say the dairy that I used to work in because it'd just be a little bit biased. I've already brought up Kaupunga too many times. Um, but I really liked Iona dairy because they make like the bombers ice creams. Um, I also like, um, oh, there's this dairy out in Opanaki. It's like on a side street. They used to make the bombers ice creams 
also they used to have like yum as food like you know how sometimes you go like to a dairy and you want a snack but you kind of want like in between a snack and a meal no doubt you'll be able to find something like that like from a delicious sandwich to something hot you know what dairies are like you know they're just you want to get something kind of bad for you so yeah I always loved going there and then um, another dairy which I liked would have to be oh the Stratford one there's one with the big ice cream on it as you're coming into Stratford they used to sell really good yummy hot food I hope that you enjoyed this this is somewhat different and you kind of get to know a little bit of um, places around Taranaki that I really really love and I know that I have missed out a few others I should have written them down when I thought of them but you know I just didn't think of that but anyway don't forget to tune in this coming Friday we have an awesome collab with two other awesome chicks here on YouTube and one of them is on YouTube and one of them is actually um, involved in a very well known Facebook page and company here in New Zealand I just can't wait to show you guys what me and Hannah Nui came up with. It is awesome, it is delicious, and I feel like some of it actually right now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you loved it. Also, before I do go, I just wanted to remind you guys that we have a new schedule. Um, we, we're doing our Tuesday and Friday uploads. Tuesday just because life was hectic sometimes in the weekend and um, we can't, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes getting up videos as you may know if you're a youtuber yourself so we have gone for Tuesday and Friday uploads but um yeah tune back with us this coming Friday because we've got an awesome collab coming your way thank you so much guys for watching see you in our next video bye I just hit myself on my laptop bye